How's it going, everybody? It's Gorilla Man here, back with another Car Mechanic Sim video. And in today's video, I'll be finishing up the work on this F350 Super Duty. Uh, that's config file. It's like the triple XL lifted Super Duty. It's pretty cool. If you guys haven't seen the last video, I would recommend going and checking out that. It's all the base stuff and getting stuff going. Uh, it's how I got this thing to look so clean. Uh, but this is a barn find and I got the suspension done. Next is the motor, uh, exhaust and a little bit more of the, uh, of the bonus parts. Then we should be good to go and give it a test. So first up, I want to prepare the undercarriage here. Oh, nope. We'll pull out the fuel. Let to see. It's got a fuel tank C and B. Fuel... Tank C, B. Let's get one fuel pump. There we are. I'm going to filter while I'm in here. I know I'll need that later. There's B. There's C. Should only need one. Yep. All right. That knocks that out. And then the rest is just middle muffler. AJ1133. AJ113. One, two, three. Oh, all right. Two of those. Two of those. Grab our catalytic converter. Also grab two middle mufflers. Mid. Yep. What's the other thing over here? Let's snap over. Front exhaust pipe V8. Pretty easy. So the right I did. Pipe V8. All right, I'll get all the catalytic converters and mufflers in first. Can't put the front exhaust downpipe in because if I do, it will clog up the uh, it'll clog up the engine. I'm trying to put it in. It won't let me do it. How much is that? Two point five. So five. Mm. That's like a twelve to fifteen percent gain with just the exhaust pieces. This thing definitely has a good chance of getting over 100 percent in the uh uh tuning it's gonna be quite a bit all right so next is this boss motor here and this boss motor as you can see i pulled it out of a barn so it is pretty much in complete condition it's missing you know like one or two things like a throttle body but regardless it means i should be able to tear it all down repair it put it back together obviously with mod parts and uh it should look pretty good so i'm gonna do that now and i'll see you guys back here uh and with a brand new engine and there we are there is the motor ready to go it definitely has a very very high potential to have quite possibly over 100 percent uh increase in horsepower there was a lot of components to this let me just say there was a lot it was kind of crazy Let's get this bad boy in make sure to double check all hundreds yes yes sir and crank can go back we'll get up in this engine bay actually no let's do this first get in the air let's get the gearbox v8 i think it's just a normal v8 gearbox but it is box v8 3k that's a lot of it's a lot of credits starter boom boom and exhaust pipes in and now just transfer case which i think i saved yep and drive shaft awesome longest drive shaft known to man can't even reach it from over here there we go all right I still have ABS to put up there, but I'm going to get the tires put on now because I think we're ready to drop this bad boy down. So it has a 70 profile, so it's pretty large. Let me show you guys here. It's quite, quite large. It definitely can't sink into the wheel well at all. So let's hope that doesn't happen, otherwise it's going to get destroyed. And then uh, 345 width, so very, very, very wide tires. Oh, I did not grab tie rods. I was like, wait, what is going on? These tie rods slid into place. 
Shock that these don't have a Ford logo on them, actually. Those, uh, those rims. Nope. Do not put that on. Alright, and that buttons up the suspension. What am I missing here? What is going on? Why am I not able to put this... There's got to be something in the way. Oh, I know what it is. Yep. Steering knuckle E. Knuckle E. Steering knuckle E ring, actually. I was going to say, if they're not letting me get that tire on, uh, I have no idea. Wow, the spacer. Look at the spacer between the <laughs> between the pad or the disc and the inside of the lugs. That's crazy. That's way too much. A large intercooler. Do I have one of those? Nope. Ooh, wait, is the performance intercoolers? There is. Oh, that's so cool. Wait a second. I saw that. Now it should stop at the tire, right? Oh, no, it's going to set it in the ground. Oh, that was weird. All right. Let's start getting everything put in. I think I need to put ABS in still, and then it should be good to go. Now that I have all of the radiators and engine in, I think that what it checks is it's your water pump. It checks if you have water pump in yet. And if you don't have it in, it does not let you uh, pour your coolant in. I do not open hot. What, what motor is this? 10W30? 4 liter SAWGL. Interesting. I never realized there's no weight on this. Wait, why am I trying to do that again? Yeah, this is DOT three and four brake fluid. Hmm. All right. Put in the ABS. We have a lot of ABSs. A lot of ABS units, but no modules. All right, now missing the one thing, one thing, one rubber bushing, which rubber bushing am I missing? Aha, there it is. Oh, get all the rubber bushings you could ever need. 20. Now, almost good to go. Just triple checking, double checking. Headlight. All right, last one. Now there we go. 100, 100, 100, 100. Awesome. So 153,000 profit. Not bad. Did buy this one for a little bit of a markup since it was a uh, barn find, but you know. That's all right. Let me add on these two bonus parts. This one, this one, and we'll get the light bar in there. Actually, nope. Cancel that. Get the light bar out of there. Can't even see it. Now we'll try it. There you go. You can at least see the roof, roof rack up there. Awesome. All right, first stop test path let's get the wheels aligned these bad boys definitely are going to need alignment yep like i thought there we go all the wheels and tire aligned 
Dino Time. All right, so I got to get this ECU uh, programmed, and I'll see you back at that. Fly that tune, and now make sure everything looks good. Fingers crossed this starts on the first try. Yes, all right, so 534 horsepower. Looking for 1,100. I think we got that. I think we got that in the bag. Come on, let's go for. Let's go. High torque right out the gate. Oh, that is pretty good. Pretty good. Not good drag rating, obviously, but this isn't a drag car. Uh, Wow, 1,136 horsepower. That's pretty good improvement. I, I was thinking we were gonna definitely break 100, but that is, oh, that is, that's a nice look right there. All green parts. Well, that was quite a lot of effort to get this thing back up and, and running in in really, really good shape now. I mean, it's worth 206,000 credits. What's this one worth? 152,000 so there's definitely a difference but the money made is pretty much the same on them uh but let's take this on a really quick off-road test uh workshop maps i think it's the only one i have yep uh the b yeah yeah all righty so let's see how this does on a little off-roading. Probably just gonna drive it around in a circle for a bit, see how it works. Oh, you cannot see out of those. Oh, look at that. You cannot see out of the uh, windows at all. That's pretty funny. Oh, wow. It definitely... Wow, that, uh... It really wants to shift in a second right off... Right off the bat. There we go. Fast slap 214. Not bad. This thing definitely in that uh in that environment it moves. The other truck was spinning out, could not do anything near compared to that. I think the guy in the mod says you definitely have to have an all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive vehicle. Ooh, but this thing is fun that is a lot of a lot of fun to drive uh so let me know what you guys think of this one in, in the comment section down below if you guys like it leave a like down below as well uh and i'll see you guys in the next video with hopefully a ford mustang mach one thanks for watching see ya